Good morning, friends. Been a few days. Still been posting on TikTok. Ready to win. Continue winning here on YouTube. Have some picks for you. Dialed up. Let's dig in. All right, we're going to be talking some prize picks fantasy points, and I have a couple strikeout props. So we're going to cover a few things today. Now, first off, I just want to talk about Zach Davies. Last five games, prize picks points 46, 34, 45, 22, and 5 where he's averaged 30.4 per game. Trevor Rogers, well, he's been miserable. Just under 12 fantasy points per game. 5, 25, 2, 15, and 12 are his five-game trending logs. And then Shane McClanahan has been an absolute ace. 45.6 price fix points per game over the last five. He's had 40, 56, 41, 41, and 50. The 40-point game and one of the 41-point games were both against the Yankees, whom he faces today. And I'm going to add one more pitcher to this list. I'm going to click on my filters, go to Max Freed, and bam, there we go. Max Freed, 34.8 fantasy points per game over the last five. He's at 24, 44, 40, 35, and 31. He's been exceptional over the last five games has a decent matchup today against San Francisco. And let's talk about all four of these plays, these picks, who I'm on, why I'm on them. Hopefully can lead you down a really good path today. Now, Trevor Rogers, I had already mentioned him, where he's been under 12 fantasy points per game over his last five. He's only been over this mark once. And now he faces the Mets, striking out the second least amount of time over the last month against left-handed pitchers. And Rogers is going to get his points from strikeouts mostly so if he's not striking people out which he's not he's only been above four strikeouts three times this season and now he's facing a team that strikes out the second least in baseball against lefties what in the world would i be taking the over for i'm playing probabilities and i think this is a low one today so i'm going under 21 and a half strikeouts for sports betters i'm actually going to be using odds jam our partner site to show you just where the best lines are for this. I'm taking Trevor Rogers under four and a half. You can get him on FanDuel Sportsbook right now for minus 102. That's a steal in my opinion. He's over, only been over it three times, faces a team that strikes out the second least amount of times against lefties over the last month of baseball. So give me Trevor Rogers under four and a half minus 102. That's a glorious way to start my day. Let's move along. Shane McClanahan, again, he's been over 40 fancy points, five straight starts, twice against the Yankees. The Yankees are striking out the fifth most amount of times over the last month against left-handed pitchers. McClanahan has had seven plus strikeouts against the Yankees in the last six starts against them, dating back to last season, including twice this year where he's had seven in each of the two starts. So you could take the McClanahan seven plus here on price picks or over six and a half. DraftKings Sportsbook has him at over six and a half on for his strikeout prop so that's one that you could take if you're interested in that or you can simply go with the over 38 and a half on price picks for the fantasy points no matter which direction you go i think you're in a good spot i like both props i like them on both platforms and i'm going to be playing them both i actually posted this in my discord this morning you can get them over six and a half right now uh caesars has them at minus 157 so wow that line continues to get juiced up most books are moving to seven and a half you know plus 108 on bet rivers plus 108 unibet uh, minus 102 for FanDuel, plus 100 for points bet barstool has them at plus 108 over seven and a half i think i'm probably not taking the over seven and a half uh, just at plus odds, but I'll use them at seven for prize picks or because I get the push factor or I'll just take the fancy points, which he's been smashing. Max Freed, over 33 and a half fancy points. Another pick I'm taking at San, or versus San Francisco today. I believe they're hosting them. Uh, Giants striking out top five um, most against left-handed pitchers over the last month of baseball. So you've got three matchups here where uh, teams are facing lefties and in the either top or bottom five, depending on who they're facing, and my goodness, give me the guys who are trending the right direction in good matchups. I'll take Max Freed, and let's look at the sheet again. I just want to bring him up. Remember, he's averaging just under 35 fantasy points per game his last five starts. He's got a great matchup. He's gone six-plus innings in 10 of his 13 starts. So you got a guy who's going to be an innings eater. If he can get to six innings and strike out six hitters, which is over five and a half, 
uh, prop is minus 125. I think he can get there. There's a decent chance. Or he goes six innings, gets five strikeouts, and then just doesn't give up many, uh, you know, hits, walks, or runs. He's going to hit the over here easily, easily under either scenario. So on prize picks, we're going straight fantasy points here. On sports books, I covered a couple picks I really like with Trevor Rogers uh, under four and a half, Shane McClanahan over six and a half. If you eat the juice, if you don't want it, maybe you go look at Max Fried over five and a half, minus 125 on i believe i saw a DraftKings sportsbook earlier today no matter what you're doing i hope this video was helpful i hope you win some money today because of this video if you're listening on podcasts slide down to the bottom of the app right now and just give me a five star rating uh, whatever the rating system is on whatever platform we're everywhere if you could just do me a huge favor it's free content it's my time i'm giving to you to hopefully line your pockets with some money or at least make you competitive and just hit the like button for me if you could just leave a five-star review even if you just click the five star and then write uh g j good job right g j that helps me immensely it takes you 10 seconds to do so i would greatly appreciate that have a good day my friends